Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I am reviewing the Lena Cup for you. How cute is that packaging? For the longest time I was calling this the Lena Cup and I apologize to Lena for that, but in my defense, one of my good friends growing up as a kid, her name was spelled L-E-N-A and her name was pronounced Lena not Lena. So I kind of just assumed that's how this was pronounced, but this is actually pronounced Lena. So once again, I apologize for uh, mispronouncing that for so long. Um, but you guys actually reached out, a lot of you guys reached out to Lena saying, hey, can you send, it's just Kelly a cup, can you send her one? And they did reach out to me a while ago to review their cup and to send me a sample. So first off, I want to say thank you to you guys. That's the way to do it. If you guys want me to review a product, trying to contact that company makes my life a lot easier um, when I have so much going on. But yeah, so thank you so much for reaching out to them. They did reach out to me months ago, but unfortunately the first package they sent me it did not arrive to my house. I don't know where that went or how it disappeared, but it didn't get here. And then the second time they sent me a package they only sent me the size small which you guys know when it comes to reviewing cups I like to have both sizes so I can tell you guys what I think about both sizes and also when Maluna sent me the smaller size cup it didn't fit so it wasn't a good review of that cup although I didn't like it because of its you know texture and everything the size didn't work for me so it was really hard to be able to give you guys like a full-fledged review so they've sent me both sizes this time we got that all figured out and I'm very excited to share my thoughts on this product with you this is what the packaging looks like they sent me like I said the size large which is the color pink and the size small which is turquoise the colors are not indicative to the sizes apparently um, you can get all different sizes and different colors I believe so this is what they look like. The packaging is like A1. Like that packaging is so cute and so up my alley. It is adorable. Inside the packaging you get a little, you know, cup holder bag thing, which you guys know I love that, a storage bag. And then it also says the pronunciation Lena, not Lena. So yeah, I'm really excited about this packaging. It is so cute. You get different types of storage bags, not just one. So if you're not familiar with my reviews of menstrual products, I do like to show me actually using them during my period. That means showing you guys my period blood, um, clotting, discharge mucus, all that good fun stuff. So if you're not comfortable with seeing that, I will leave a link underneath this video to skip to the end where I will repeat kind of what I've talked about in the middle during that part of the review that you've missed and also tell you my final thoughts on the cup so you don't have to see all the blood and all of that but if you do choose to see all of that good stuff keep watching and again I do repeat myself um, at the end for those who do not want to see that so just beware also I do have final thoughts at the end as well because as I'm using the product I have these first impressions and these first ideas that kind of come out organically but then after I have time to kind of sit down and think about uh, my experience with the cup, um, new thoughts come to mind, which I share at the end. So, like I said, if you don't want to see the bloody details, skip that underneath here. There's a link. And if you do, keep watching. All right, guys, so it's day one of my period. I'm actually <laughs> quite sick right now. Um, I have some type of respiratory thing going on, which sucks because it's beautiful out and I haven't been sick in I don't know how long. So, a little bit bummed. But I'm going to test out this cup. I just sterilized both of them. As you can see here, actually John helped me sterilize them because I was um, not feeling well. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and use the size large. This is the pink one just because I'm pretty sure the small is just going to be too small. It's small all around. Not only does it have a smaller circumference, but it's also smaller lengthwise. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, which I actually really love this color. Um, but we're going to pop it in real quick. Since you guys right here, my camera is about to die, so we gotta do this first part of this check-in really fast. So I'm gonna use the punch down fold because that's just my standard fold that I always use. I've already washed my hands, don't worry. All right, so getting it to pop open was pretty easy, but my cervix is hanging incredibly low right now. Um, on days like this where I can feel my cervix hanging so low, I would normally use my FemiCycle cup because it's shorter. Um, whew, it's hanging quite low, but I managed to get the cup in the right spot. It opened pretty quickly. It went in pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, no cramping so far. So I'll check in, um, either tomorrow morning if I fall asleep because I don't feel well or later tonight. All right guys. So it is, uh, next day, Sunday, um, uh, it's about 9.30. 
Man, I'm tired. So I've had this cup in actually for quite a while. It's, um, I wanna say it's been about, well, it's been about 12 hours actually. So yeah, I'm gonna take it out and then show you guys what it looks like. <coughs> I've had this cough and it's driving me insane because if you've had kids, well, I'm not gonna say that because some people who've had kids don't have this issue, but a lot of people who have kids have the issue of when they cough, their bladder does not hold up like it used to. So, being on your period at the same time, not a lot of fun. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pull the cup out and then see what it looks like. I have a tad bit of stuff in my period underwear. I don't think it's leaking. I think it's just what was in my vaginal wall that just came down um, prior to putting the cup in. So this is what we have here. It held in a good amount of blood. Um, there's a bunch of blood clot inside the cup and that was outside that I take off with toilet paper. It was like stringy, just like snotty stuff. Like I said, I always make sure to have like toilet paper or something on hand when I'm pulling out my cup if I'm away from the toilet. Most of the time I'm not away from the toilet. I take my cup out at the toilet, but obviously for video purposes, I have paper in my hand. Um, but yeah, it did a really good job. It was pretty comfortable. I didn't really notice it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna empty it and put it back in and wear it for the day. All right guys, so it is 8 p.m. I've had this cup in for about 11 hours. I've been running around. Um, I had a bunch of stuff that I did. I showered. I pooped. I've done all sorts of things today um, and it stayed in place. I will say I was just laying down um, because I'm sick and I've been coughing and not feeling well. I did just lay down for a little bit to watch some TV and just now I felt like it was pushing itself out which is odd because I wasn't standing or squatting or doing anything where my muscles were in action so I don't know why it's pushing itself out. I kind of feel like it's like you should empty me is kind of the feeling I get. So, um, like I said, I've gone poop, I've gone pee numerous times, not pooping numerous times, but peeing, and it's stayed in. But yeah, right now I feel like it's trying to come out on its own, so I thought might as well uh, check it and dump it because it's almost been 12 hours anyways. So, let's see. So I actually just went pee real quick because I felt the urge that I really had to pee. So I'm kind of wondering if my full bladder was pressing down on the cup and maybe that's why it was making it feel like it needed to come down. But I just peed and I wiped and there was no blood or any pink or any red on the toilet paper, which is a, a first um, using this cup today. So that's good news, but let's go ahead and check to see how full it is. All right, so there's probably a half a tablespoon tablespoon of blood in here caught all the clotting it was actually really clean around the outside so I think I had a better seal and a better positioning of this than I did last night when I was sleeping it was completely comfortable all day I didn't have any issues whatsoever with this cup I'm surprised because the stem is so long that I didn't feel it or anything and it was sitting quite low like I was able to grasp it immediately without having to pull it down at the bottom to break suction and wiggle it down um, like I said, it did sit low and it did have a long stem, but I didn't feel it at all. So, um, yeah, all in all, I'd say this cup is working pretty well. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep this check-in short and sweet. It is 8 a.m., so it's been 12 hours. I'm making this cup work real hard, guys. I was up probably all night <laughs> until at least, um... I want to say at least 4 a.m. I don't feel well because I didn't get any sleep. But I've just been up all night coughing. This cough is just ridiculous. And the cup has stayed in, thankfully. Um, but yeah, let's uh, <coughs> check it real quick. All right, we got the same amount of blood as last time. Everything is pretty much clean on the outside of the cup. It's staying pretty consistent, guys. Alright guys, so I look like a hot mess because I just got out of the pool with the kids, but I just spent about an hour and a half in the pool and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly that there's no water in my cup. Just a little bit of blood because my period hopefully is nearing to an end. Yes, I've been having two day periods lately. It's been amazing. I shouldn't say two day periods. I should be saying two day heavy periods and then like I just have light bleeding for a couple days, but I'll take it. I, I will take it. But 
Yeah, no water in here. So yes, you can very successfully swim with the cup in to answer all those questions. All right, guys, so let's talk about the cup in general. Um, I really liked this cup a lot. The shape of it is very interesting. Here's the lunette. As you can see, the lunette is more of like an actual cup shape, like a wine glass cup shape. This is more of a bell shape, but it's not exactly the same as the schoon, which is also a bell shape. It flares out a little bit more at the top. The rim is more different defined. Um, as you can see, the schoon has kind of a more of a smooth rim, whereas this one kind of comes out, juts out, and comes back in. Um, so there's more of a defined rim there. And then the bottom of the Lena cup also comes out more than the schoon. The schoon kind of comes straight down, whereas the Lena cup really does curve back out. So the capacity for fluids is greater, I think, in the Lena cup. Um, it's more similar to the Super Jenny, which the Super Jenny has a large, large, large capacity for fluids. Um, as you can see, like that but the shape is still a little bit different when it comes to softness or firmness of the cup I would say that this is a it's a firm cup but it is still kind of soft in a way I don't know how to explain that in a way that you guys would understand um, this is the schoon the schoon doesn't bounce back as fast as the Lena but it's also not as firm as the lunette does that make sense everybody's opinions though on feel and stuff is different so I don't know, but that is that. Um, the size difference I really love. There's a very noticeable size difference in these cups. The Diva cups drove me insane because the size one and the size two were basically identical. With these two, one is definitely bigger than the other and you can definitely tell that. These stems of them are similar to the Lunette stem. You guys know I love the Lunette stem, that flat but round stem that's got the really nice big grippies on it. I love that. It's the most comfortable stem for me in my opinion. Um, I haven't had to cut that off at all. So they have that same exact flat grippy stem. The stem on the size one is quite long as you can see compared to the size two. And I like that because I actually can use the size one. When I started out this review, I talked about using the size two and not the size one because the openings were very different and I was afraid that the size one would just fall out. I actually did use the size one towards the end of my period as it lightened up just to see if it would stay up there and it did stay up there but my cervix had already gone up as well so the cup did migrate quite high so I appreciated the fact that this stem was long so I could grab it and bring it down. I never pull my cups out from the stem. This is a misconception I feel like when it comes to using a cup. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I use a stem to pull it down but then once I get it to where I can reach the bottom, I grab the bottom break the suction, hold on to that, and then wiggle it slowly down. If you're one of those people who pulls it down, breaks the suction, and then rips it out by the stem, the, it's gonna go everywhere. It's more controlled if you grab it by the bottom and also wiggle it out very slowly instead of just ripping it out, wiggle it out. So again, I really appreciated the longer stem for somebody like me who does seem to have a bigger cavity inside for smaller ones to get lost. I did appreciate for that longer string to be able to pull it down. So in regards to how they both inserted and the placement, these were both very easy to put in. I use the punch down method with all of my cups minus my Femi cycle, and that's where you just punch down one end sorry my finger is getting caught <laughs> and then it's like this and you slide it in and then boop, it opens I use that method it worked really really well with both of these I had no issues putting these in whatsoever they opened really easily and they were both really comfortable to wear I thought that I would feel this one because it is so much bigger than the other two that I'm used to which is the lunette and the schoon the bottom is so much more bulbous and round so I thought I would maybe feel that down there I didn't feel that at all down there, which I was very impressed by. Even when I was at the beginning of my period where my cervix was really low, this kind of sat really nicely up there and stayed there. One thing I did have an issue with though, and that is where I think this rounder bottom maybe came from, was for the first time ever using a cup, I had an issue emptying my bladder which has never been an issue for me before. It never crossed my mind when other people would complain about that or ask me like, oh, I have this issue of emptying my bladder. You know, what do you suggest? That to me was lost. I was like, what do you mean you have an issue emptying your bladder? I've never heard of that. I've never experienced that. This, I finally experienced it. I could not fully empty my bladder if I could tell I still had to pee, but it wouldn't come out. So I did actually have to readjust with this before I would go to the bathroom. I didn't pull it out, but what I did was I pushed it 
up a little bit more and then I peed. I don't know if it was because I kind of readjusted it that maybe my bladder moved a little bit or some, I don't know what it was, but I did try to readjust this before just straight out pulling it out to see if that solved the problem and it did. So for people who have an issue emptying their bladder with a cup in, if you still wanna to stick to that cup, I would suggest maybe just before you sit down to pee, stick your finger up there and just kind of wiggle it around, push it up a little bit, move it to the side a little bit, just nudge it a little bit and see if that helps you because that did help me with this cup. It didn't happen every single time, like the inability to empty my bladder didn't happy, happen every single time, just ever so often. Um, and that again was only with the size two. The size one I didn't have the issue with whatsoever. Going number two, pooping, making a bowel movement, whatever you wanna call it, that was okay using this. I've talked about this before because I do like to tell you guys whether or not this happens. Um, I've pushed out the scoon while pooping and that's because it is a very soft cup. This cup I didn't push out and I didn't have any issues with whatsoever doing a bowel movement, which I really appreciate because there's nothing worse than sitting down in a public toilet trying to take a poop, which is already stressful enough in a public restroom, and then all of a sudden feeling like, oh crap, I'm about to lose my cup in the toilet while I'm pooping. So I didn't have an issue with that with this at all, but yeah, so I really like this cup. It's, I think, a very good starter cup. If you're somebody who doesn't know where to start off with, all of the other ones look intimidating. I think you do really well with this cup. In regards to where I'm fitting it now in my favorites, this is one of my favorites. Definitely one of the ones that I'm gonna reach for during a period. Again, I just had that peeing issue and the bladder issue, but that was something that I could fix by just kind of adjusting it before I went to the bathroom. Size-wise, I definitely think the size two is the size for me. It's very difficult because I think I can use a size one, but in regards to comfort throughout the day and it moving around, if I'm very active, it falling out or again, just on suctioning, I think the size two is best for me. Um, but I can pull off using a size one, which is really nice to know because that means for people who are having a hard time deciding between the two, um, maybe if you need a size two but you accidentally buy the size one, the size one might still work for you. I really, really like the cup. No complaints. If you're somebody who likes to cut off the stem, it's nice because you have all these little options of cutting it down to whatever size you need. I always tell new people who are saying like, oh, the stem is bothering me. Don't cut off the stem all the way right off the bat. Put it in, figure out how much of the stem is bothering you and just trim it ever so often so that you can kind of leave a little bit of a nub in. With the Diva Cup, as you can see, I had to cut the whole thing off, but that's just because the Diva Cup was super uncomfortable for me. Ooh, my hair is on here. As you remember, the first time I cut off a stem was the Diva Cup stem because it was super duper long. As you can see, look how long that cup is. Like it hangs down halfway to where that handle is. Um, so the stem was even longer than that, uh, but I've not had to cut or trim any other stem off a cup other than this diva cup uh, but if you do again have to cut off the stem off of either of these i would just suggest trimming and so that way you don't like lose the whole stem if maybe you need part of the stem still to help it to come down so there is my final feelings about the lena cup i do like the cup I'm very excited I tried it. Thank you, Lena, for sending them to me. Thank you to you guys for contacting Lena. Um, they're very, very pretty cups. The color selection is great. Their website is very easy to navigate. It's very beautiful as well. And their packaging is beautiful as well. I have no complaints over the Lena cup. So if you're looking for a cup and you're considering this one, maybe your friend said that they use it, I like it. Very easy to use first time and yeah. So there you have it. There is my review of the Lena Cup. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If I can't get back to them, I have a great community that has been responding back to people's comments underneath here that are very helpful. So you're in good hands. Again, though, I do want to remind you, if you have any questions about an IUD with your cup or any other health concerns when it comes to using a cup, please talk to your doctor or your OBGYN, not necessarily the internet, because all of us on the internet, me included, we're just talking about our experiences with cups. We don't know what your experience will be with a cup and we are not medical professionals. So if you have any medical concerns, please again, talk with your parent, your healthcare provider. But yeah, that's about it. If you have any suggestions for future menstrual products that I should review, as always, leave them below. Tag me or tag the company or let them know about me or let me know about them on any of my social media, which I will leave around here if you would like to follow me. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I upload about everything and anything, not just period related stuff. And as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy menstrual product review videos or just talking about our bodies in general. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video.
拜。